ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಕಾಶವಾಣಿ ಮಂಗಳೂರು ಯುವ ವಾಣಿ ಡಿಯರ್ ಯಂಗ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಯು ವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಂ ಟುಡೇ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಕಿಯಾಲಜಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಕಂಟೆಂಪ್ರರಿ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಜೇಸನ್ ಮಶಾಡೋ ಆಂಡ್ ಇ ಕಾಮರ್ಸ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಬೈ ಪ್ರಣೀಕ್ಷಾ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ್ ಕೋಟಿಯಾನ್ ಕಿಲ್ಪಾಡಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರಣೀಕ್ಷಾ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ್ ಕೋಟಿಯಾನ್ ಕಿಲ್ಪಾಡಿ ವಿತ್ ಹರ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಇ ಕಾಮರ್ಸ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ರಾಜೀವ್ ಅ ಕಾಬ್ಲರ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಟೌನ್ ಡ್ರೆಮ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಕುಕ್ಕರ್ ಟು ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈಫ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಕುಕ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಈವನ್ ದೋ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಶಾಪ್ ನಿಯರ್ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಹೈ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಕುಕ್ಕರ್ಸ್ ರಾಜೀವ್ ಕುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಫರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಬೈ ಒನ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೈಸಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಮಚ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ದೆನ್ ಹೀ ಕುಡ್ ಪೇ ಒನ್ ಡೇ ಅ ಕಸ್ಟಮರ್ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಟು ರಾಜೀವ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಫ್ಲಿಪ್ಕಾರ್ಟ್ ಅನ್ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಶಾಪ್ ಸೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಾಜೀವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸೈಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಾರೋಡ್ ಇಮಿಜಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫೋನ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ರಾಜೀವ್ ಟೈಪ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಕುಕ್ಕರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಅ ಬಂಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಫೋನ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಹಿ ಕಂಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರೈಸಸ್ ರೆಡ್ ರಿವ್ಯೂಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ಫಿಟ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಬಜೆಟ್ ಬಟ್ ರಾಜೀವ್ ಕುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಎಜ್ಯೂಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಫ್ಲಿಪ್ಕಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸೇಫ್ ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಈಸಿ ಡೆಲಿವರಿ ರಾಜೀವ್ ಎಂಟರ್ಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ಡ್ ದ ಓಕೆ ಬಟನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕನ್ಫರ್ಮ್ಡ್ he could not believe it he bought a pressure cooker not from the shop nearby but right from the online store a few days passed with anticipation then rajiv's store bell rang a delivery man stood there with a package inside wrapped safely was rajiv's very own pressure cooker lakshmi's smile shone brighter than the cooker itself now meals are cooked faster and rajiv was hooked on this online magic called flipkart he even bought tools and leather supplies for his shop all with just a click of fingertips e-commerce for raji was more than just a convenience this is the true magic of e-commerce e-commerce has revolutionized the way we shop imagine having access to millions of products from around the globe all at your fingertips that is the incredible feel of e-commerce e-commerce short for electronic commerce is essentially buying and selling goods or services over the internet It's a massive part of the retail industry today and it's constantly evolving. E-commerce transaction can involve anything from physical products like clothes and furniture to digital products like e-books and music and services like traveling, booking or online classes. E-commerce is a powerful tool for both businesses and consumers. It allows businesses to reach a wider audience and sell their products all over the world. for consumers it offers a convenient and easy way to shop for anything they need let me explain briefly how does e-commerce work e-commerce is powered by the internet customers use their own devices to access online stores they can browse products and services those stores offer and place orders e-commerce operates in different types of market segments and can be conducted over computers tablets smartphones and other smart devices nearly Every imaginable product and services is available through e-commerce transactions including books, music, plane tickets and financial services such as stock, investing and online banking. E-commerce is considered a disruptive technology because it significantly altered the way we shop and conduct business. Let me present you how it disrupts the traditional retail landscape. First, convenience revolution. E-commerce eliminates geographical limitations. you can shop from anywhere with an internet connections 24 bar 7 no more waiting for stores to open or battling traffic jams second wider selection brick and mortar stores are limited by physical space online stores however can offer a mind boggling variety of products from around the globe this gives consumers more choices and ability to find niche items they might not find locally third price transparency E-commerce fosters price transparency with a few clicks you can compare prices from different sellers and find best deals. Fourth, empowered customer. The internet empowers customers with information. Online reveals products, comparisons and detailed descriptions allow you to research product thoroughly before making a purchase. Fifth, new business models. 
ई कॉमर्स ओपन फॉर न्यू बिजनेस मॉडल्स सब्सक्रिप्शन सर्विसेस ऑनलाइन मार्केट प्लेसेस कनेक्टिंग इंडिविजुअल सर्विसेस विद बायर्स एंड डाउनलोडेबल डिजिटल गुड्स आर जस्ट अ फ्यू एग्जांपल्स ऑफ हाउ ई कॉमर्स हैज चेंज द गेम सिक्स इंपैक्ट ऑन ट्रेडिशनल रिटेल ई कॉमर्स हैज अनडाउटेडली इंपैक्टेड ट्रेडिशनल बिग एंड मोटर स्टोर्स मेनी हैव हैड to adopt by offering online shopping options or improving their in-store experience to compete with the convenience of online retail let me now explain what the latest trends in e-commerce powered by technology the e-commerce industry is a dynamic space constantly innovating to provide a richer shopping experience some of the hottest trends shaping e-commerce in 2024 are first ai powered personalization Artificial intelligence is being used to personalize the shopping experience for each customer. This can include recommending products based on past purchases, offering target discount, and even creating customized product pages. For instance, if you recently bought running shoes, you might see a targeted ad for high-performance socks at a discounted price. Second, rise of social commerce. Social media platforms are becoming increasingly important for e-commerce. Consumers can now discover and purchase products directly through platforms like Instagram and TikTok. Third, augmented reality for product visualizations. Augmented reality allows shoppers to see how a product would look in their home or on themselves before they buy it. This can be especially helpful for furniture, clothing and cosmetics. Some clothing retailers offer AR apps that allow you to virtually try on clothes before you buy them. You simply point your phone's camera at yourself and see a digital version of the garment appears on your body. This can be particularly helpful for clothes that depend on a good fit like jeans or formal wear. Fourth, focus on sustainability. Consumers are becoming more eco-conscious and e-commerce businesses are responding by offering sustainable products, packaging and shipping options. Many businesses are now offering products made from recycled materials, organic ingredients or with lower environmental impact during production. For instance, a clothing company might sell shirts made from recycled plastic bottles or a cleaning product company might offer plant-based cleaning solutions. Now, let me present you the details about major global and Indian e-commerce companies doing a great job in this domain. First, Amazon A household name, Amazon is the undisputed leader in e-commerce, offering a massive selection of products across nearly every category imaginable. Their dominance lies in their efficient logistics network, fast delivery options, and subscription services like Prime. Second, eBay, a pioneer in online auctions and marketplaces, eBay connects buyers and sellers worldwide. It's a great platform for finding unique vintage or hard to find items third alibaba this chinese giant focus on businesses to businesses e-commerce connecting manufacturers and wholesalers with international buyers it's a powerhouse for bulk purchases and international trade indian e-commerce powerhouses include flipkart the undisputed leader in india flipkart offers a wide range of products from electronics and fashions to groceries and homeware They are known for competitive pricing, strong customer services and focus on the Indian market. Mintra, a subsidiary of Flipkart. Mintra is a fashion e-commerce platform catering primarily to Indian consumers. They offer a curated selection of clothing, footwear, accessories and beauty products from both established brands and rising Indian designers. Meesho, a social commerce platform Meesho empowers small businesses and individual resellers to reach a wider audience. They leverage social media platforms like WhatsApp and Facebook to showcase product and facilitate online sales. Nike, India's leading beauty e-commerce platform, Nike offers a vast selection of makeup, skincare, hair care and fragrance products from both international and Indian brands. They cater to the growing demand for beauty products in the Indian market. Besides the giant companies e-commerce is full of niche players and regional specialties here are some other noteworthy regional players doing a great job in the industry IndyMart and Udan are two B2B e-commerce platforms connecting wholesalers and manufacturers with businesses online grocery shopping is booming 
will players like Big Basket and Growfords in India offering convenient home delivery of groceries and household items. Websites like Make My Trip and Clear Trip allow users to book flights, hotels and vacation packages online. Today, the e-commerce industry is booming and with it comes a wealth of exciting career paths for young tech-savvy individuals. E-commerce offers exciting opportunities for young people. Budding entrepreneurs can launch their own online stores while social media savvy individuals can sell directly through platforms like Instagram. Freelancing skills in web design, writing or graphic designs are also in high demand. E-commerce businesses also need talented content creators, digital marketers and data analysts. For those who enjoy helping others, customer service roles are available often with remote work options. Finally, youngsters with a logistics mindset can find careers in managing warehouses and ensuring smooth product delivery. What youngsters shall do to do grab career opportunities in the e-commerce space? Firstly, enrolling for online courses, certifications and internship in e-commerce, digital marketing and data analysis can give you a competitive edge. Then, Showcase your skills and interest through a professional online portfolio or social media presence. Network with industry professionals by attending industry events, connecting with professionals on LinkedIn, and participating in online communities to learn and build connections. Thus, the e-commerce landscape is wide open for young, talented individuals. With the right skills, passions, and willingness to learn, Youngsters can seize the exciting opportunities offered by this dynamic industry. While e-commerce offers convenience, it is not free from limitations. Firstly, you can't physically examine products before buying. Imagine buying shoes online without trying them on. You risk getting the wrong size. Secondly, the digital experience can feel impersonal. Missing the interactions with the salesperson can make it harder to get buying advice or ask questions. Thirdly, there is the issue of delayed gratification while some services offer one-day delivery. Waiting for your purchase can be a drag. Unlike the instant gratification of walking out of a store with your bag. Fourthly, e-commerce can be breeding ground for scams. Fake websites and misleading product descriptions can trick you into buying something you don't want. Finally, e-commerce can contribute to impulse buying. The ease of clicking purchase can lead to overspending without the physical act of handing over cash to serve as a mental break. Despite limitations, e-commerce offers the ultimate convenience of shopping from anywhere, anytime. E-commerce has significantly transformed how we shop, offering convenience, selection and information at our fingertips. With a few clicks on your phone or laptop, you can borrow million of products compare price and have them delivered straight to your doorsteps. No more waiting in lines or carrying heavy shopping bags. With the rise of e-commerce, people are spending less time shopping in physical stores. This frees time for other activities and potentially lead to a more balanced lifestyle. Overall, e-commerce is a double-edged sword, but by being mindful consumers and embracing the positive aspects, E-commerce can enhance our lifestyles and empower us to make informed purchasing decisions. E-commerce industry. That was a speech delivered by Praniksha Baskar Kotian Kilpadi. Continuing the program, Jason Machado will now speak on the topic Archaeology in the Contemporary World. Once my companion asked me, why are you so interested in archaeology and why are you studying or why we need to understand our past history and culture. For that I replied, To be human is to be curious, questioning and inquisitive. We know that our ancient ancestors looked to nature with wonder. They experienced fear as the sun disappeared during the solar eclipses and joy at its return. They saw cycles of births and deaths, seasons and years, and for all these events, this sought explanation and meaning. The search for and discovery of explanations and meaning have contributed to the development of human culture. Culture is a shared body of acquired knowledge that humans live by and pass on to each generation. As long as humans exist, we will seek knowledge and understanding to meet our needs 
and solve our problems this thirst for knowledge reaches into the past even when looking to solve problems today lessons learned from the past can influence and improve the social political and environmental actions we take today by studying the past we learn how and why people lived as they did throughout the world we learn about changes over time and causes of those changes we study the past to get broader and richer understanding of our world today and our place in it we learn about the past in many ways astronomy now allows us to peer back in time to the birth of our universe 8 billion years ago geologists look at the origin and structure of our planet earth 4.5 billion years ago and archaeology studies the human past about 1 and 1/2 million years ago each of these fields have developed its own method for studying the past the word archaeology has its origin from two ancient greek words archaeos meaning ancient or old and logia which stands for learning or study archaeology is a study of the ancient and recent human past through the recovery and analysis of material remains however it also uses other branches of learning and various other disciplines by using all these disciplines the archaeologists are able to understand human civilizations of the past and recreate main aspects of the environment in which these bygone societies lived excavations of ancient monuments and collection of antiquities have been taking place in ancient times the first archaeologists were the grave robbers who looted the tombs of heroes of egypt and who probably hoped for financial gains from selling their plunder later with the endeavors of italian renaissance humanist historian flavio biondo who created a systematic study and documented guide to the ruins of ancient rome in the early 15th century he is seen as a candidate for consideration as an early founder of archaeology both history and archaeology research the human past the difference between these two disciplines derives from the source of materials the historians use written sources while archaeologists concentrate on physical remains historical sources are committed to dates while archaeological material is basically connected to origin this basic difference explains why historians and archaeologists have difficulties in understanding each other archaeology is a service to the society the primary role of archaeology and its practices is still to provide evidence based knowledge of how people lived in the past as one of the experts pointed out i don't believe that archaeology is supposed to solve societal problems but it can absolutely does enrich society in many ways archaeology provides a database of how past civilizations dealt with their societal problems and provide insights into how their choices which were successful and in terms how they failed and in terms the consequences in that sense it can be used to future proof contemporary actions and decisions develop and test hypotheses and eventually design desirable futures that last it can also help us to understand our state of affairs and their underpinnings it focuses on the past and present in long term continuum provides a basic looking back opportunity and benefits focusing instead on societal challenges in the full perspective the critical importance of understanding archaeological practices from the perspective of the impact on archaeological knowledge and the society lies in the different ways of doing of how the past should be and understood in relation to the present societal changes and challenges which affects archaeology in many ways archaeologists have contributed also with their views on what current societal changes and challenges are likely to be affecting archaeological practices during the years commercialization and privatization were seen as specific issues for archaeology that are bound to affect its conditions and operational headroom but also on the profound level its future 
perspectives as collective undertaking within the society unsolicited and unauthorized archaeological related practices performing archaeological work without proper competence and commercialized and populist misuse of pseudo archaeological narratives were also mentioned as a challenge that threatens both the preservation of archaeological remains and discredits archaeology as a profession and field of science and scholarship another challenge is digitalization which was also emphasized as a challenge for archaeological work although it provides opportunities but it sometimes have major impact on the management interpretation and communication of archaeology archaeology is also subject to the influence of digital pointed by expert the misuse of new technologies created rethinking in our perceiving and interpreting archaeological records and demands a new visionary reorganization of museums archaeological practices will need to continue and to adapt to thrive and to live in an evolving digital media landscape transparency of archaeological work equal opportunities for engagement in archaeology and publishing findings are further examples of societal changes and that are not external but a part of disciplinary practices and the discipline itself the wider structural problems in research and higher education from the defects in scholarly publishing system the unhealthy competition and the questionable focus on quick results rather than perceiving higher levels of disciplines many of the experts were also worried about the continuing relevance of archaeological work studying archaeological practices and knowledge work in digital environment there is considerable emerging knowledge on different aspects pertaining to the nature and the process of emergence of how archaeological remains are documented digitalized preserved and made available how the documentation and archaeological collections are used to create knowledge on past practices in the field and human past now it is a knowledge based utilized by a broad range of stakeholders from land development to academia to tourism and through education in the context of the day to day activities ongoing national and international initiatives have contributed to the consolidation of our understanding of archaeological practices and their social implications archaeology offers a unique perspective on human history and culture archaeology helps us to understand not only where and when people lived on earth but also how they lived archaeologists examine change over time seeking patterns and explanations they ask questions about how and when human first came to inhabit the world or the origins of archaeological remains unlike history which relies on written records and documents to interpret great lives and events archaeology dwells far back into the time before even the languages existed through their thorough analysis of things they made and left behind we can glimpse the lives of everyday people in today's world the archaeology is a hidden character because there are less colleges and people who are willing to take up a life of challenges seriously to tell archaeology is not a character but a story which is yet to written especially i would like now to mention about some achievements like msrs college shirwa which are protecting the archaeological sites in and around western coastal belt you have just heard jason machado speaking on the topic archaeology in the contemporary world <laughs> Dear friends here we come to the end of today's english uvani program see you next time thank you